This past summer, I had the opportunity to work with Dr. Boris Pash, um, who's the chair of cancer research at the University of Alabama's medical school. Um, we got to work on a project that um, was sort of focused on figuring out how this new cancer treatment worked. Um, the treatment consists of radio frequencies that sort of prevent the spread of cancer. Um, and it's a brand new uh, treatment that really hasn't been studied a whole lot. So um, all of the discoveries we make <laughs> are, are brand new, exciting. Well, it was my first very serious research experience. I had a little bit of research experience on this campus prior to that, but this sort of allowed me to dive headfirst into a, a project that was very significant. Um, and I absolutely loved doing it. I worked a lot of hours, but it was, it was <laughs> fun work to do. And it really sort of cemented that, hey, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. So the, the very first uh, eye-opening experience was um, the opportunity to use a, a very, very high-powered microscope that allows you to look at um, cancer cells um, live in real time in three dimensions. And I got to see these cells divide um, on a very big screen and it sort of brought what I was learning in the classroom to life. The Donaghy Scholars Program was actually one of the uh, major things that um, uh, got me to come to UALR. Um, that has a lot of unique aspects that I really like. Um, one of um, the aspects was it funded me to study abroad. Um, I went to Ecuador and really got hands-on experience learning Spanish. Um, I also um, it sort of replaced the, the core curric curriculum, that's like reading, writing, and math classes with um, team-taught courses by some of the leading faculty here. So it kind of gives you a, a well-rounded education, which is really important for science majors that may be lacking in some of those areas. I um, studied in Cuenca, Ecuador, which is um, a town about the size of Little Rock, but um, is in the Andes Mountains. Um, completely different world than here um, and I, I had the opportunity to um, sort of learn um, Spanish from not from a Spanish instructor I sort of was able to go into the community and learn from real people who were speaking with terms that are used in everyday usage so it was it was a very good experience for me I received a fellowship from the Arkansas Department of Higher Education to work on a project here with Dr. Steve Grace um, in the biology department here at UALR. Um, he's a campus director of an orga organization known as Arkansas Center for Plant Powered Production. So he does research on plant biology and his lab is focused, I guess the project that I'm working with, on with him is focused on assessing um, the concentrations of, of health-promoting molecules that are in the tomatoes that we eat. I mean, my dad's a high school chemistry teacher, so he's, he, he's really happy to see, uh, I guess, the progress that I've made, and he is always interested in what I'm doing. Um, and my parents are first-generation college students, and uh, so they're, they're very supportive of, of all the, the work I'm doing here on campus. So I have sort of a, a broad range of, of lab experience and um, I'd, I'd like to incorporate that into to whatever I do. I, I'm definitely interested in medicine and I've applied to some medical research programs um, but I'm broadly just interested in using um, or working in a, a biochemistry fo focused laboratory and whether that's medicine or not I, I haven't 100% decided but I, I know that I, I sort of want to use in this interdisciplinary background that I've accrued I guess.